The internet computer ICP, that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video. This is going to be predominantly a price focused video. And I am going to be updating you guys in regards to our price prediction that we gave for the internet computer ICP where we're currently at and where I still believe we are heading. And there is some really good news in all of this because the internet computer, in my opinion, is setting up to see some pretty significant upside. And we're going to be diving into all that in this video. We are going to be looking at our price prediction to start the video off. Then we're going to be going over to the ICP USD chart and see where it's at in relation to the price prediction that we gave a number of months ago now. And then I'm going to be showing you that what ICP today is doing, in my opinion, is setting up for some serious upside. And I'm going to be showing you guys plenty, not just one, not just two, not just three, but plenty of examples of what ICP is doing today being present in many other charts out there that we've also called sort of stage twos for or coming out of stage one into a stage two. Remember, ICP very compliant with that in volume, also in a technical pattern. You know, we do still have that higher target for ICP in the $20 range. Uh, and depending on what it does when it gets to our price target, may actually see it set up to that $200 range. And I'm sure everyone will be very happy with that. So we're going to be showing you plenty of examples. Then we're going to be talking about the ICP dominance. So what percentage ICP is, the overall, is of the overall cryptocurrency space? And of course, ICP BTC. So we have a hell of a lot to get into, guys. Let's not waste any more time and let's dive straight into it. So you guys will know that a number of months ago, we gave a realistic Internet computer ICP price prediction. And the price prediction that we were giving in the short term was $24. Now, we said this was more than achievable in 2024. And since we gave that price prediction, ICP has largely just been consolidating, but is still, in my opinion, just taking a little bit longer than I'm sure many of us would have liked. However, this is how markets work. They don't move when you want them to. They move when they move. And you need to be positioned for when that happens. And one of the biggest mistakes that I see in the crypto space and investing more broadly is impatience. Because you will take your eye off the board, you will literally drop something just before it goes where it's been predicted to go. Now remember, a prediction can become invalid, but there's nothing, no signs of that in regards to ICP. And I'll show you that what it's doing is perfectly healthy uh, and very normal in regards to how charts uh, move. So this was our prediction for the internet computer. We had that 24 dollar price prediction that depending on what it did when it got there, could see a setup, uh, a, a broader inverse head and shoulders that could see ICP go towards $200. So we're, we're focusing on this $24 price prediction, $24.40 to be exact, before we then potentially see uh, $200 coming in the future. Let's now dive over to the ICP chart and see where we are today. And not that much has changed. So we still have this, what we believe is a double bottom. You have a very clear bearish divergence present here. So you can see you went on and put in a lower low in regards to uh, price action, but a higher low in regards to the RSI. This is a great indicator for looking at when a trend is subject to change. Now ICP was in a downtrend, which means we think it's now changed into an uptrend. And it's not just ICP against the US dollar, it's also ICP dominance and of course ICP BTC. But let's focus on the ICP USD chart for now. So this is what we would identify as a stage one base that was really capped by the eight dollars and um sort of 40 cents range so you have now broken out of this on volume telling me that you are now in a confirmed stage two which is an uptrend in line with the broader cryptocurrency market our macro thesis on markets and everything in between and right now you're just at a period of consolidation so if we actually drop down the time frames a little bit we'll maybe go to the daily we're not going to go that far down. Since ICP took this level on volume, it's came back, it's respected it as support, and it's kind of in a sideways holding pattern. It might form some sort of a bit of a double bottom here. We were looking at this symmetrical triangle that initially went in the right way and then has come back. Uh, and it's taken a little bit longer for ICP to get to what we believe we are now on the journey towards $24.40. But in my opinion, you are still getting there. And the target that we have at $24 has been derived from a double bottom. And from today, that would still be a 113% increase. And I do believe you're going to get there. Remember, there is that broader scope for $200, but we'll, we'll, we'll be following that as it plays out. What I want to do, because I'm getting a lot of questions, seeing lots of uh, comments asking for an ICP video, an ICP update. You know, I think newer people particularly or people that perhaps aren't part of a community or have been watching me for very long 
get very worried when we have the kind of volatility that we've seen over the past week in the cryptocurrency space. But we've continued to come out daily on these daily market updates and remind people more broadly that everything is very healthy um, and actually doing what it should be and is still destined for higher prices. In our own opinion, this isn't financial advice. Um, and ICP is very much doing the same thing. And actually what it's doing right now is very healthy. I'm going to be showing you plenty of examples of that just now. Uh, and it's going to ultimately lead to a pretty explosive move to the upside that I think sees $24.40 get taken in a short succession of time. Okay, so the first chart I want to show you as a good example is total two. So this is the total market cap of the crypto space, excluding Bitcoin. And you can see what we're identifying here is a stage one base into a breaking of that and then a period of consolidation. Let's actually go and find a rectangle to highlight all of these. This is where the internet computer is today. Let's put that on the internet computer. So broken out of a stage one base into a stage two, and now you're in a period of consolidation. You can see that the total market cap did the exact same thing before then seeing a pretty explosive move to the upside. And where the total market cap, or well, the total market cap in Bitcoin has actually found resistance, is it a perfect level that's essentially going to set it up for broader continuation? I'm going to be looking at that with my Patreons later tonight. There's a link in the description if you want to join. We are limiting the amount of members we're taking on and we do fill up very quickly. So uh, just check uh, availability. So we've shown you one example. One swallow does not a summer make. You know, I don't think showing one example and saying, just look, there's one other chart out there that's done something kind of will put anybody's mind at ease. Um, so ICP very much doing the same thing that Total 2 did down here after breaking into a stage two very common after you take a key level um, not only that even in regards to this price action here you know you can see icp very compliant with all of this the next one i want to show you is microsoft now microsoft in 2023 was a fantastic stock for us it was one that actually made its target that we gave at the start of the year into the year and you can see this was an inverse head and shoulders that we had identified a little bit ugly um, but we we like to use a little bit of um, nuance when it comes to technical analysis and you can see you break on volume, it's always on volume. Volume is a, a, a key indicator. Um, and then once you break, you get this period of consolidation before you then see a target being made. And um, you know, our target for this got made beautifully and it actually went above and beyond. And you can see that where ICP is today is here. So we've shown you two examples now. Let's bring up a third which of course is MicroStrategy. Now MicroStrategy made our target that we had for it and has gone well above and beyond. One reason we're bullish on the overall crypto market is look at this volume. Who is buying MicroStrategy to this capacity? And this was all occurring where Bitcoin was at 70K. That is not uh, retail. So again, another example, there's an inverse head and shoulders, very weak right shoulder here that gave us this target, which the price perfectly reacted at before then going on and seeing higher continuation. Let's get rid of this squiggle on the chart. I must have been doing a demonstration on it break on volume it's not quite the volume you've seen over here period of consolidation and a pullback and a retest it's a second chance if you take a key level you often do come back and test it once again and you can see this is the period that icp is on before it picked up its feet and pretty much went to its target icp is on a similar journey that could essentially see it set up for broader continuation all laid out in our price prediction video um, that we gave. So MicroStrategy, another good example. Um, Ethereum, actually a great example. Stage one base that you're capped at. You can see the break very much occurring on volume. And then you end up in a period of consolidation. We'll make this line solid. You can see this. And the common denominator with all these charts is what happens after that period of consolidation where ICP is today. You get a big move to the upside. If we look at Cloudflare, so we've shown you cryptos, we've shown you stocks, we've shown you market caps. Cloudflare is a, a stage two breakout for us um, that we've been monitoring. You can see ICP very much mirroring this in regards to where it's at and where it's likely going can see this another good example before a big move you're likely going to see big volume coming in to icp i believe um and the last thing so we've shown you one two three four five examples of what icp is currently doing and what's likely to resolve remember we all we have technical merit to support all of this and a broader thesis on the markets um what i want to sort of talk about now to wrap the video up as we've been going on for 10 minutes is 
ICP dominance, which in my opinion is well and truly broken out of an uptrend. Sorry, a downtrend. This is the first large bit of volume. Um, ICP, I think, is likely to find support around here. It's flipped that 30 weekly moving average, likely going to find it as support before seeing continuation. Very much a similar thing going on for the internet uh, computer against Bitcoin. So ICP. So that was just a quick update, guys. Um, we've given price predictions for a number of cryptocurrencies. We're going to keep you up to date on them all. Certainly the ones we've given you price predictions for, because we'll be the first people to come out and say we've been wrong on these when we get them wrong. If we get them wrong, we have huge success in regards to technical analysis. I believe ICP and what we're seeing for ICP is going to be no difference. We've shown you a number of examples of exactly what ICP is doing today in other charts being present and what that's resulted in. Remember, we've got technical patterns that kind of confirm that, a broader macro thesis, uh, which really gives us this kind of complete picture. But just because we're looking at all this, it's not a silver bullet. Always remember that crypto is risky. None of this is financial advice, just my own opinion on the markets. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.